Good morning children. Welcome to the online session. We are going to do biology class 7. We are going to do the chapter allergies. Chapter 7. Please open your biology books. This is your biology book. Please open your biology book. Lesson 7 allergies. Introduction. We have learned that the disease developed due to infectious microorganisms imbalance in diet malfunctioning of vital body organs and lack of hygiene. The human body is well equipped with immune system which generally protects body against various microorganisms and other diseases causing organisms which are present in its surrounding environment all the time. In such a situation, the immune system of the body act as a major defense system to guard to guard the entry of any of the microbes or such as bacteria, virus, fungus and or parasite. So children, what is infection? It is the uh, microorganisms, small tiny organisms which we cannot see with our naked eyes. That is bacteria, viruses, fungus and that uh, attacks our body uh, with uh, which we when we are, when our body is not functioning well, when uh, we get some kind of cold, when we are, body inside is weak, then these microorganisms which are present all the time in the air attacks it and we get infected. So, these, thus the health of our body depends on how strong our immune system is. So, by this we can come to know how much our body can take in. If our body is weak, we will always be fighting all these small microorganisms and we will catch various diseases. Sometimes it acts by eliciting allergic reaction towards various substances that are present in the environment. In this chapter, we shall learn about allergies and allergic reaction in the body that and their causes. So in this lesson we are going to study about allergies. Concept of allergy. Allergy is an abnormal reaction of the body to an allergen that enters in the body by inhalation, indigestion, injection or skin contact. So allergies can connect to our body by inhalation when we are breathing, we are inhaling the air, inhalation through nose, injection when we are getting a shot when we are eating something or some kind of skin problem. So, allergy can take place. The allergy reaction is often manifested by itchy eyes, runny nose, wheezing, skin rash or diarrhea. These are the qualities which an allergy can be caused. Itchy means when we scratch in our whole body there is scratching and eyes get red. Running nose, all the time your nose is coming out. Wheezing, when you are doing like this. And skin rashes, there are red, red rashes on whole body. That is called allergy. What happens during allergic reaction? When a body is exposed to any foreign substance, our immune system responds to protect us from harm. So children, in our body there is also an antibody which is fighting against such, uh, such kind of microorganisms which are in the environment. When our body is strong from inside, these antibodies can fight. But if our uh, body is weak, these antibodies die. So that we get these microorganisms, bacteria, viruses and some kind of various allergies which are present in the environment, we caught get hold of it. Each person's immune system is equipped with certain sensitive that might trigger an allergic response. If a person is very sensitive, very uh, sensitive towards uh, things in the air, in the what we eat, what we drink, where we go, in the uh, sun if we stand, people are allergic to that also. In the uh, atmosphere, if we move out of the house, people are allergic to that. That is called sensitivity and allergens may be different to different person and 
different people can have different kind of allergies. What are allergens? Allergens are the substance that causes allergies in the body. Allergens is the substance already present in the body and they are, they cause the allergies to affect the body. An allergen is a non-parasitic anti-agent, antigen capable of stimulating hypersensitivity reaction in sensitive individual. For example, pollens or chemicals can, can cause people with allergies to sneeze or have an allergic reaction. People can have allergies through these things, pollen, for flowers, they can have small, small flowers have pollens in it. To this also people get allergies. Allergens exist almost everywhere. They can be inhaled while breathing, in, inject, ingested, ingested while eating or disposition of our skin through the air or through touch. Some of the most common allergens are as follows. Animal product, wool, dust, mite, rec uh, recreations, mite, secretions, fur and dander, cigarette smoke, bee sting, wasp sting, mosquito sting, seafood, plants, pollen of co Congo grass, grass, rag, weed, weed pollen, etc. Floods, wheat, soya, egg, chocolate, fruits, food, addictive, pumpkin, nut tree, nuts, etc. Medicine, penicillin and some other antibodies, etc. Others, fiber, lactose, metal, detergent. Entry of allergens in body. The allergens have different mode of entry in the body of organism. These may be inhaled, eaten or swallowed, touched through the medic medications or through insect bite. The allergic reaction may vary with the entry route or type of allergens. This may be due to different chemical structure of the allergen. For example, airborne allergen are inhaled through nose. These affect nasal passage and other parts of respiratory tract. Other symptoms may be sneezing, coughing, suffer, stuffed nose, asthma, bronchitis, half fever, or conjunctivitis, etc. Skin touch allergen enters the body through skin. The symptoms of skin allergens are itching, blistering, reddening, and developing eczema, dermatitis, etc. Sometimes skin reaction also develop when the allergens enter through the inhalation or injection. Food allergens enters through the mouth into the body. These may cause swelling of lips and throats, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, cramps, etc. In case they enter the body through digestive food, they may cause more serious problems. Insects bite allergens and injections enter directly into the body and cause various effects of, on different parts. Symptoms of allergic reaction. Allergies occur when the immune system produces antibodies and synthesize white blood cells or leukocytes against a particular an antigen. When the immune system encounters any such substance, it releases histamine and various other chemicals. These chemicals are responsible for the symptoms of allergies. Symptoms of allergy may vary from mild to severe and also according to the type of allergens. Common symptoms of mild allergic reaction. This category of allergic reaction include falling reaction, nasal congestion, stuffed nose, itchy and watery eyes, inflammation in the around, in and around the eyes, itching, excessive sneezing, rashes on skin. Sym symptoms of severe allergic reaction. The severe allergic reaction symptoms are coughing, nausea and vomiting, anxiety, rashes on skin and over face difficulty in breathing, abnormal pain, discomfort and swallowing eatable and water. Specific symptoms of some common allergen. Some common allergens and the allergic reaction related to them are follows. Drug allergies, high rashes and fever are common symptoms. Food allergies, symptoms of reaction including digestive problem, high or swollen, airway severe reaction can be life threatening, lactose allergic, symptoms range from minor skin irritation, 
to life threatening shock allergic asthma wheezing and difficulty in breathing seasonal allergy symptoms including sneezing running nose red watery and itching eyes contact dermatitis the main symptom is red rashes wherever the skin comes in contact with the irritant animal allergy sneezing and running nose are common symptoms allergies in molds symptoms include cough itchy and watery eyes these are the um, children allergies which are caused by such and such things and animals also so children we will end the session here we will meet in the next part of the video thank you children